switch over to pyrolutamide, I felt like I was starting to shed a bunch of new hairs and it didn't really happen while I was using or when I started using RU58841. Then again, What is up guys and welcome back. Last week we talked a bit about my hair loss regimen and how I currently keep my hair loss in check with pyrolutamide, microneedling and finasteride. Today I want to add a little education to the vlog since a lot of the focus in this protocol relies on androgen antagonists like pyrolutamide, IU58841 and so on. I thought it to be a good time to give a little education on what an androgen antagonist is and how it really works. Of course, later in this video, we are going to compare the progress photos of me from when I started using pyrolutamide instead of IU58841 to compare and determine in 30 weeks if and how well pyrolutamide compares to IU58841. If you're just here to see how things are going, feel free to just skip ahead. But if you don't know how androgen antagonist works like IU58841 or pyrolutamide, I suggest that you stay around for this part. Androgen antagonist works by antagonizing androgens from the receptor. Plain and simply, it means that they block the receptor making the primary hormone unable to bind to the side. The best analogy I have come up with so far to explain this is my key analogy. Imagine that you have a lock like this. This lock represents your androgen receptors in your scalp. The way your receptors work are much like this lock. They have a key, a hormone that will unlock the lock, the receptor. When you unlock the receptor, just like this, you gain access to whatever is guarding this lock in case it is your hair and when the receptor is activated in your scalp it triggers what's called male pattern baldness which most men don't really like so what we can do here is introducing what's called an androgen antagonist or what i might call just simply jam something in the lock to block it one eternity later now as you see, I have blocked the lock with just some metal and now when the original key, the androgens come around to unlock the lock or the receptors, it won't really be able to access the keyhole, rendering the lock unable to activate or in this case, if I had locked it, it will be unable to open. So what we simply do is that we block the receptor we don't want to be activated and this way we stop it whatever is going to be happening when we activate this receptor. This is also the same way muscle building works just by activating other receptors by other means. To sum it up simply, androgens are making you lose your hair by activating the androgen receptor with the hormone and when we add pyrolutamide to the area affected we actually just block the receptor from being able to receive the hormones. Now, if we stop using our pyrolutamide or our androgen inhibitor, well, it's able to unlock once again and hence we have the activation. So if you do enjoy this piece of little information, give a comment down below since I have been considering to add small education pieces in my vlog every week. Next week, I am going to explain how finasteride and tetrasteride works, the known 5 reductase inhibitors, and depending on the response, this might continue. And of course, the whole point of this vlog, the weekly catch up on my progress photos and how I feel about pyrolutamide so far. So we are entering week four and my dandruff is still severely reduced, although I have noted that the alcohol is drying out my scalp a little bit, but it did help as soon as I introduced a little conditioner into my bathing schedule. So it wasn't really that big an issue. Definitely still a go on the KB solution over the old fashioned propylene glycol slash alcohol solution. And honestly, I don't really have a lot of other things to say about the schedule this week. The progress photos doesn't show a lot, but as I already have stated, four weeks isn't really going to do anything when expecting growth. 
Although after December 21, I plan on doing weekly microneedling or even bi-weekly to see if it might increase my response to the pyrolutamide, I have seen a lot of great results on Reddit when people have introduced weekly microneedling sessions. And as I've told, since I'm doing all this studying, I don't really have a lot of time to do my microneedling. So I'm just trying to hang in there for the next two weeks until I'm done with the project. The only thing really is that after I switched over to pyrolutamide, I felt like I was starting to shed a bunch of new hairs and it didn't really happen while I was using or when I started using IU58841. Then again, pyrolutamide is about four times as potent as IU58841. So if I start shedding, it might actually just be because of the strength is increased four times by the drug. It has a way higher potency. This is only to be expected and it might even be a good sign that I'm reacting to a way stronger androgen antagonist. So beside those thoughts, that's a wrap for episode three. If you like this kind of content, please remember to hit the like button and it keeps the algorithm happy. And guys, with that said, until next time, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.